In this video, I'm going to show you how to check the tire pressure on your 2019 to 2020 Hyundai Elantra. It's a very easy process, only takes about 5 minutes and the only tool we need is a tire pressure gauge. So let's go ahead and get started. Now before we check the tire pressure, we need to know what the correct pressure should be. Right, so open the driver's side door, that's where the label is. It indicates what the manufacturer recommended cold tire pressure is. It's 33 PSI for front and rear tires. Again, it's a cold tire pressure, which means that the car should not be driven for 3-4 hours before you check the pressure. Because when you drive the car, the tire rotates and it gets hot and the pressure increases, so that's not the correct pressure. So, when you check, it should be cold tire pressure, which means the car has been sitting for at least 3-4 hours. Now that we know what the pressure should be, let's go ahead get that wall stem cover off. Position the gauge on it. And you can get a gauge like this from Amazon, Target, Walmart, or your auto parts store. It's a very common thing. Or you can get a much more simpler one too. So get the gauge, position it right on top of the wall stem there. Push it in and get the pressure is 33.7. Again, it's very important that you position it exactly parallel and then push it in. All right? If you do it any other way, it's going to leak air. See, I'm going to show you what happens when you do it the wrong way. See that? I'm losing air over there. And I'm actually losing air. In order to do that, I'm going to check the pressure again and show you that initially it was 33.7. Now it's, what, 33. So we lost some air right there. Put the valve stem cover back on. Now, I want to make a point about this. Look at the front tires. They're in the shade, and the rear tires are in the sunlight. We just checked the pressure on the rear tire, right? And just because the rear tire was in the sunlight, because of the sunlight, the air inside got hot, and that increases the pressure. So you may see minor differences in the pressure from the front and rear tire. So let's go ahead and check the pressure on the front one. Same process. And this time around, we see that the pressure is... 33.1 as opposed to 33.7 in the rear tire so if you see small differences like this that is because of the sunlight and that's normal now if you do need to fill up air you can fill it up at your local gas station or you can get a portable air compressor you can get an air compressor as part of the roadside assistance kit or you can just buy a portable air compressor standalone you can get it anywhere at your auto parts store walmart online amazon they're all pretty standard. They run off the 12 volt outlet on your car. One end goes in there, the other end goes on your valve stem. There's a simple gauge on it. And it's a very handy tool to have with you whenever you do have to fill up air in your tire. Now, repeat the same process for all the four tires. And as you can see, it's pretty straightforward and only takes up to five minutes. And that is pretty much it. If you like this video, we got a lot more videos made just for your vehicle. So check out the playlist over there. And if you have a friend or family who can benefit from this video, please share with them. Till then, drive safe and thank you for watching.